Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about how I clean the sensors in my cameras. Um, just recently, my Z50 started to show a few spots, and so it's definitely time to clean it. And I figured it would be a good one to demonstrate because the opening is so big and the sensor is so close, it should be able to uh, show up on video pretty easily. But, uh, and, and mirrorless cameras tend to get their sensors dirty quicker because there's no mirror in the way. When you change lenses, any dust or particles can, can go right on that sensor uh, really quickly. But any, uh, any digital camera will eventually get dust on the sensor, especially if you, uh, if you change lenses a lot, uh, like I do. Uh, pretty much any time I change lenses on, in the field, I'm risking getting dust on my sensor or debris or pollen, who knows what it is, but it'll show up in your pictures, especially if you use a small aperture, you'll see little spots usually in the sky is where they show up the most, um, but they're there and then you have to correct them. And I'm going to show you how to, or how I, uh, clean mine. Now, if you have a lens, even if you never change your lens, but you have a lens like this on your camera that gets bigger and smaller as you zoom. As that thing is getting bigger, it's pulling in air and dust and what have you. And as it gets smaller, it's squeezing it out and that air is moving around and some of that air with the particles can get on your sensor. So even if you never change lenses, uh, you're definitely not immune to needing to clean your sensor from time to time. What I do anytime I'm changing lenses or getting ready to go at home, even if I'm not going to do the full sensor clean. When I take a lens off of my camera, and I'll take this body cap off, I take a bulb blower. So I haven't done the full clean ever on this Z50 sensor, but I've blown air on it from this bulb blower to try to clean it off probably a hundred times. So that, that actually does help, um, but sometimes you'll get debris that on the sensor that won't come off when using a bulb blower. So you have to get a little more serious with it. And I know um, several photographers, really good advanced uh, professional even photographers who are afraid to clean their sensors. Um, and it, it's really not that bad. I, I was totally scared of it too until the first time I did it. And then it turns out it's really easy. Uh, that said, you are doing this at your own risk. If you uh, follow these procedures, which I'm about to show you and you tear up your camera, that's on you. Uh, do this at your own risk. So the first step is to get access to the sensor. On a mirrorless camera like this Z50, all you have to do is remove the body cap or the lens and there is the sensor. But on a DSLR, there's a mirror in the way. So you have to turn that off. You have to move that mirror up. And I'm not sure how to do it on Canon or, or other brands, but on Nikon, you go to the setup menu, that's the one with the wrench, and you can scroll through the options, and there's one that's called Lock Mirror Up for Cleaning. Just hit OK on that, and then it says Start, and hit OK again, and it gives you a text that says, when shutter release button is pressed, the mirror lifts and shutter opens to lower the mirror, turn the camera off. And I'll show you right now, the mirror is in the way of the sensor and I'll press the shutter button and now the mirror pops out of the way and you can clearly see the sensor in the back of the camera and it powers down the camera even though the power's on so there's so you're safe to clean it and then when you turn the power switch off the mirror goes back in the way. The product that I use to clean my sensors is a sensor cleaning kit by a company called VSGO. Now this one is specifically sized for an APS-C sensor, but they have full frame and uh, micro four thirds. I think they have pretty much every size sensor available now. Uh, and, and this is a, uh, don't try this at home, but I use the APS-C size on my full frame cameras too. And the size is for the wand. It has a little cleaning wand that has microfiber on the end. All it is is a, a bunch of those cleaning wands. That's all that's in this kit and some liquid. It's uh, alcohol free liquid to use to clean your sensor. But it works well and I recommend it. 
Okay, so this is the what the inside of the cleaning kit looks like. It's just a bunch of containers of these cleaning wands with the microfiber on the end and a little bottle of the alcohol-free sensor cleaning solution. I've already got one of the wands open. This is what they look like. About the same length as the camera is wide. And what you do, let me set the wand down for just a second. Open up the cleaning solution. And notice I have the cover still on the sensor. Put about a drop, pretty good size drop on here so it's nice and wet. And you can close this up so it doesn't all evaporate. And now we can open up the camera and there's the sensor, so easy to get to on this Z50. A little more difficult on other cameras, but not impossible. And then you just wipe the cleaning solution across the sensor a few times. And then you can open up another cleaning swab and that will do the same thing with it and that will dry the sensor. Sometimes I like to move it around. I always, I like to do it with a light on almost like I'm making a video even when I'm not making a video because then I can see the sensor pretty good. And sometimes you can actually see the particles that you're cleaning off. On this particular application I couldn't. But once you're pretty sure that the sensor is dry, then you are done. Okay, so that's that. That's how I clean my camera sensors with the VSGO sensor cleaning kit. Thanks for watching. I hope it works for you, but if you damage your camera, don't blame me. You're trying this at your own risk, but I don't think you will. Have a great day. Bye-bye.